feature controls, go to add an activity or resource, and then wiki. So, what does it say? Participants to add and edit, it is more or less similar to any Wikimedia or Wikipedia. Anyone can contribute. Here we can use, but here our requirement is she wants to use it for blogging purpose, self reflection of students. So, we are going to demonstrate, we are not going to. How many of you would like to use this for collaborative authoring? Then we will do additional steps also. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, then click on hand. And if you want to click on expand all, if you want to use this for collaborative author, then name it accordingly or if you want only blog or self reflection journal, anything whatever you want. Description. So, weekly means do they create the page or? Feedback only one, only one module or an entire course. Now we will do one thing instead of creating a, okay, we have two options module wise you can create a wiki, you prefer that, huh? or for an entire course you can create a wiki and ask the students create pages module 1, module 2, module 3, that way also. No, no, here only, he, here with, within square brackets they, they need to create. Okay, okay. Anyways, okay, both ways you can. Yeah. Uh, you use this for uh, providing feedback. Uh, some some instructions. Description means instructions to your students. Yeah. Scroll down, and you change this to colla from collaborative wiki to individual. That is the only difference. Collaborative means we will uh, create like a group activity. We need to enable group activity. But here she wants to use it for blogging purpose. Okay. And first page name. You uh, if you click on help, you cannot change the first page name. So before writing here, decide what should be the first page name. This is the wiki name and first page name. And this is a default format, do not change all those. Uh, check this force format so that student cannot say change. We have three different formats, we do not want all this. If you if you, you can click on help icon, what are these? But we prefer this one only HTML text data. ID number, we are not using this for groups, so no groups. Scroll down. Ah, and we need to provide. The, Okay, save and display, then we will create a page. Click on save and display. And here you will use square brackets, double, double square brackets, and within that create a page so that student can start editing and writing something. Page name. It will be visible to students in red italic marks. Now, whatever you want. Now we are going to create an actual page for them to. Again, close it with double square brackets. Or you can simply provide these instructions in the description page. In the square brackets, you create a page and start writing. But uh, this is a better way of helping them out. Scroll down, uh, preview this page, click on preview. So, we should get this in red italics. Yeah. So, student will get like this. Now, save. Save changes. Yes. Mm, but in the latest version, as far as I remember, you get uh, in red italics. I think this is the older version 2.7. In red italics, student will get double bracket. They will click on that red italic, uh, then they will, they can edit. The, the, then it will take them to this, this page, edit. It will take them to this page. Anyway, they will start providing feedback. So, this is how student use this.
Where, where is that orphan? Orphan pages, once, once you create, no one uses, then it will be shown. If no one uses, say for example, you have created five or four pages. If no one uses, then it will list out there. Orphan means no one used. No, no, no. Here though, we don't have any pages now. Do you have one orphan page? Show me. Show me your wiki. Huh. Yeah, you show, where is that? Ah, then it's I think what you need to do is is orphaned activities or resources are if you import something from there you just increase the number of modules oh, that's it section. yes oh, okay. <laughs> that's it oh. <laughs> where is that can you show me now you don't have that now no. just increase so that's it Okay. Hey, what is this feedback? <laughs> now we are expecting them to reflect on their learning, not on the faculty. Uh -huh. ah, on the module, what did you learn from the module and how it is useful to improve your knowledge or skills? Huh. Oh, this we call muscafying the faculty members so that uh, they will award more marks. No, we, we do not want all this. This is self reflecting on my learning. No need of all the last two sentences, you remove all those, that is it. Actually, in detail, how many of you have the habit of blogging? So, there we will post some self reflection and what we do. The reason I have introduced this is I will create a wiki, an individual wiki on my Moodle enabled blended learning. Please, every week, you post your self reflection on blended teaching. Okay. Then you can copy this when Dr. Sanjay Mishra asks you, he will generally self reflection journal or something, one word document. You can copy from this. If you want, I will share. I should not leak, but what all the questions are there, I will sh <laughs> share with you all. In that say, huh? Okay. No, you do you start one thing. So, you, your semester is how many weeks? 14, So, you start reflecting on uh, using this wiki, which I am going to create on my course page. If you are regularly doing that, then in the seventh week, I will share the, all the questions. Otherwise, I will not share. It is an individual transaction between the teacher and student. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, save. That is it. This is how we can use wiki. 